Hey, what's up? Ugh. There we go. Uh, what would you like me to put in, Chris? What's your hilarious name? Uh, uh long. Uh, ba. long. Long. Abalon. Abalong is not a bad name. If, yeah, if I was named that, that's I would like not, an RPG name. It's biblical. I would not resent my parents. What should I put? Do you? No. Do me? No. 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 He says no. No. Okay. No. None. You have your own beliefs. No. No. Clearly not. <laughs> you don't want sad things to happen. Poor little rat. Let no bad happen. Uh, Julian, stop. No, I thought that was your answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're killing it. Julian, save it. You can save many. You should try. Okay, yes. Okay. That's oh, what Thanos we'll, we'll Well, you messed up because that's only one. Mm. That's not many. That's true. Uh, There's something you regret. Do you regret anything, Chris? Never. Yes. Well, I regret everything. Well, that's an oopsie. This is fucked, dude. Why is he doing this? Uh, What would you say? Uh, more important things that exist. No. 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 What? That's why this rat should be killed, should be saved. Should be saved! Save the rat! Save the rat! Oh, it's too late! What's happening? You get to see all his insides. Yeah, there's all of his candy. Julie, you personally hate humans. I personally hate humans, yes. So do hate. Okay. So do hate! <laughs> Julian, this art style... Mm -hmm. Looks like your art style. Thank you. I like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, I would have been mad about this game. Uh, not to... Not what? to <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I Why? No, as in, I would have loved it. I would have oh. been crazy about it, is what I mean oh, to say. I thought you were like, leading into a thing of, but... No, as in, when I, was a, when I was a kid, uh, I would have really liked this game. This would have been one of okay. my favorites. Uh, the perfect I... night for a curse. <laughs> and a dog outside. Can we go outside and put down the dog? Yeah. Yeah, why didn't Just he... like the rat. Yeah, why didn't he get cut open? We'll pin him down. Uh, we're in Cheese Afterlife. This is where Cheese goes to die. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, and uh, and she says that he has one more chance to uh, get something he wants. Who is she? Which is represented by Cheese. It's very intuitive. You see, rats like cheese. Rats Cartoons like cheese. Me. So when you go to Rat Heaven, it's full of cheese. And what are other things that rats enjoy? Uh, meat. meat. Fucking, presumably. Fucking meat. Okay, so penises, cheese. Um. That's gross. <laughs> penis cheese. <laughs> He's standing Poor in a rat. I feel skin. bad for him. Look at how miserable. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't want to be here. It yeah. probably smells awful. This is pathetic. So this is the afterlife? Mm hmm That's nice. Chris, you're gonna go here when you die. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> or go to hell before you die. I'd rather go to a place that had more than cheese. Even like, if it was like, what would you want? Anything. If if everything's just one thing, you'll just inherently get sick of it. If it was cheese, well, your and afterlife, lava, your afterlife has to be one thing. So what? What's it gonna be? Um, flashlights. <laughs> like so, it's this landscape, but everything has <laughs> yeah has the little, little rubber vaginas on it, and some of them have mouths with tongues that go. <laughs> <laughs> They're motorized. Yeah. You can hear servos whirring. <laughs> there's, there's one switch on the entire planet you have to find. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Julian, concentrate. I'm trying. You're trying to listen to the beat of the street. We need this read. Listen to the rhythm. Sing the song. The rhythm of defeat. Was that from Killer Instinct? Yes. That's a good song. Mm -hmm. The Arthur theme song? I think that did come from Killer Instinct. <laughs> No, you know what I'm talking about. Isn't there a song in Killer Instinct that's like... You're talking about, uh... <laughs> I don't know which one you're talking about. Fuck. Uh, are you thinking of the way you move? Yes, I love that yeah. song. They brought it back in the new one. It plays during the credits, which is nice. That's nice. The new one has some pretty good music. What does the L-Stick do? Uh, you go farther if you're holding in the direction. Ah. Mm -hmm. Should you not be holding it all the time then? Uh, it depends. There's levels later on where, like, you want to get a specific distance yeah. or timing. This is neat. I like this game a lot. Yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. buggy. It does have flaws, but I, I, I'm in love with the, the story. 
and it's a really cool idea anyway. Hmm. Uh, as a game, did it do well? I wonder. I've I seen people talk not. about it, but I don't know how well it Why did. Why is he not jumping? Okay. Because you're supposed to do it that way. Who wrote the music? Uh, a few people. They have like five different artists. Mm -hmm. There's Music Musicston. <laughs> uh, Beats Enormous. <laughs> Japani McEDM. <laughs> Beats McNormous is the best. <laughs> It's a shame he had all that controversy. Yeah. <laughs> by beating his children enormously. <laughs> oh no. All he does is beat things. <laughs> With his enormous hands. <laughs> That's what makes him so good at playing music. <laughs> uh, I'm just imagining a big Chris Boars kind of a guy with mallets. I just imagine hands. like mallets or something. <laughs> He's got mallets for hands. <laughs> How does he fucking make music? With his mallet hands. He has a huge piano that he hits the keys with. And he was really inspirational at first. Everybody said, like, oh, you know, this guy, he's up and coming. And he said, there's music everywhere. But then he started testing the limits of that by beating his children, beating oh, everybody. To... They haven't given me the wall jump yet. Never mind, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this game is actually maybe not good. Dude, is that a cockroach? Where? There. Where? The, no, never mind. Wait, zoom in. Baby Where on the screen? There. Top right? Yes. I don't see it. You're making me look stupid. Everyone's making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> the real-time comments are coming in, and they're not good. <laughs> Show me more of what you can do. Uh, yeah, Julian. You're kind of letting us down here. I sure am. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't mean to trigger you. You're making this rat so mad! Jeez, what a move to make. The idea of, fine, I give up! And as yeah. you're walking away, they go, Oh, by the way, you can actually do this. Yeah. I just took the control away I from you. I never understood that. Don't do that to people. But you know, that's what Professor Oak does. It's true. This is a real piece of he shit. He steals your money. He steals your mom. <laughs> he steals everything from you. He and then you have to get DNA, it back. He creates Pokemon with it. He won't let you use the start button anymore. That would be the greatest Pokemon ever. <laughs> it, one that's he, based on you. No, if, if he stole Ash's DNA and made a Pokemon out of Ash, it's just a tiny little Ash. It should be that the Game Boy takes a little piece of your skin. That's an idea they haven't done yet, so they gotta get on that. <laughs> Put it in the next, uh, the Switch, the Switch U or whatever they're gonna do. The Switch U? The, the, the Switch, switch U. him up? Oh, here's a fun trick. You just... can use that button too, now that, you know, I'm letting you. Thank you for making me think of Anakin. <laughs> That's a neat trick. Yeah. Why do you love Little Anakin so much? I don't know. I don't. I haven't even seen that movie since I was like 11 or whatever year it was. It feels like a cheesy scene you'd see in like an 80s cartoon or something. Are you I'm sure the, that's the, the delivery on the line. I mean, that's kind of it. intentional, is yeah, it not? Yeah, I that, think it is. Yeah. Like Star Wars is based on Flash Gordon anyway. I gotta wonder how uh, he wrote a scene where a boy pushes a button instead of a thing. It brings him up to the thing where everything's happening. Then he blows up the thing where everything's happening and he saves the day all on his own. Uh, That's how it's actually scripted. It says, child pushes the thing that goes into the thing that destroys the thing. <laughs> so you've only got one day to live? Yep. Mm -hmm. That sucks. What do you think he wants to do with his life? Die. Well, he's already done that. I mean, he apparently didn't have his own beliefs. Based on the options you chose. If I was him, I'd want to kill the guy that killed me. Well, that would be really... That would be silly. That would be really pessimistic of you, I think. I don't care. <gasps> so what? People I'm think I'm pessimistic out, for wanting to kill the guy who killed me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll kill you too. I don't <laughs> care. Oh, revenge bad. <laughs> kill oh. everyone. Revenge feeds into the cycle of violence. I don't care. I didn't start it. I'll Homie kill Dick you. was a real dick. <laughs> Fuck him. If someone kills your mother and your whole family, you should let them get away with it. <laughs> I'm sorry that uh Would you chase after the storm cloud <laughs> rhino? Yeah. Oh the storm cloud rhino yeah, kill the rhino. One day a big rhino killed his mother for no reason. I hate it. Why is there a storm cloud rhino anyway? <laughs> I don't know. It's a strange decision. Guys, we're talking about James and the giant rhino in the sky that eats mm -hmm. his mother. It's okay. related. It's not like it's totally out of left field. I mean, you're right. If James had one day left to live, what do you think he'd yeah, do? Yeah, exactly. I think that movie's boring. That's just me. An angel came down and said, a giant storm cloud rhino killed you. What's your favorite scene in Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Uh, the scene where he, where he choked on the chocolate. <laughs> he does do that. I uh, I like the scene where Willy Wonka has his first candy. 
That is another very relatable thing. I find this game very relatable. Mm. And I, I like a lot about that movie. We watched it. I don't know if we talked about it Can you relate already. to being on a cheese planet? Yeah. Charlie and the Cheese Planet. That's the that's Willy the Wonka sequel. is upset with how Charlie's running the factory and sends him to the Cheese Planet. After a great glass elevator, after they blow up the... <laughs> punishment. After they blow up the hotel, they send him to Cheese Planet. And then the, the narration of Oompa Loompa says, And so, Charlie was sent to the Cheese Planet, where he died after 40 hours. The end. 40? Why that? Why so specific? It was just it just lined up like he tried eating cheese, got dehydrated, and then he didn't last very long. <laughs> so you thought this out the whole process of dying from all the cheese? I was just being scientific with it. I was trying to be more real with it. I don't know. We can't let him live. <gasps> A rat after my own heart. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he made me his lab rat his whole life. That's not your fault. That's your fault for being born a lab rat. I can't accept that. I'm going to do it. Uh, give me one day. Let me do it over. Let me fulfill my wish to kill the humans. This little rat just wants to murder. If I was, in, oh my god, that's cool. That's your heart, Chris. It's the heartless. All right, little rat, listen carefully. See this heart clock? You turn back time by rewinding it. It's very stylish, yeah. Now turn back the clock to this morning. Look at you go, Julian. But just remember. You can turn that back it's only the time. beginning to the good but it's also the end with some deeply blue okay one time <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i thought you read it <laughs> when you have a meaningful way to spend your life all right then have a nice day he's gonna die no matter what is all it's telling you julian sing will you have a nice day you there you go wake up julian wake up wake up I'm awake. Shakes Wake Julian up. awake. His pompadour falls off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you still a gross rat? Yeah. Why are you still gross? I thought they were going to turn you into a human. You didn't look like this at the start. What? I thought I died. Good thing I didn't. I'm going to get out of this nasty old cage. Look at him there go. he goes. Oh, oh my uh, god. How did you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I did it. I got out. Huh, it's a lot easier than I thought it'd be. I'm going to keep this up and make my wish come true. I, with this power that I got from the Rat God. Now give me a beat. A beat? Like this? No! And Thanks! Then it cycles through a bunch of other songs. <laughs> He's getting his wish. Julian, please fucking fuck this human up. Yeah, let's go get some revenge. This is cool. Now what are these green Doritos? Uh, there's little munching sounds when you eat them, so I assume they're supposed to be, uh, cheese. God, it is hard to put, to talk while I'm playing yeah. this. Uh, Chris handed over the controller earlier. Yeah, I was like, I can't play and talk at the same time. Guys, there's Let's Play rules. Mm -hmm. Rule number one. Always play a game Belch that sucks loudly dick. into the microphone. Belch number two. <laughs> Rule two. Dye your hair yellow, or blue, or red, or green. Number uh, three. Munch a lot. Munch, burp, shit yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <just> yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, insult the audience. Insult the audience. No, that's my bit. Okay. Um, Do your bit. Fuck you. There you go. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> that's the interactive segment. Now leave a comment about how you felt about that. That was pretty good. I think this is the ideal Let's Play. We got it figured out. Okay, Talking guys, over we're looking for game. new hosts because Ding Dong and Julian are dying. Slowly, but surely. As we all are. Send in your application forms and Julian will review them all. You get to choose how we die. <laughs> What's the idea? email address they gotta send them to? Uh, onidies at gmail.com. One of the coolest things we could do is we could uh, we could buy an RV, right? Mm -hmm. And run us over. And we could drive like into little shitty towns. Mm hmm. And uh, and we can put up posters that say we're looking for a funny man, and we'll go town to town looking for a funny man. And then what are you gonna do with said funny man? Bring him into the RV, and we'll record something really horrible. <laughs> <laughs> What's the horrible thing you're gonna record? We're gonna murder. This is the implication. <laughs> <laughs> something real bad. It, okay, so I think that's fair. If they're funny enough, we'll hire them to be the new host, and if they suck, we'll just kill them. But that's illegal, isn't it? But yeah, sort of drugs, but you still do it. 
It's legal. You still do math, right? It's all legal. You have never done meth. I no. promise. No, I haven't. Why not? <laughs> Are you not cool? Justify your decision. I don't uh, um, mm -hmm. Because... I don't have a response. Okay, well, I can give you some good reasons to do math. Yeah, okay. It seems dangerous. It makes your teeth less uh, boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you'll be more unique. <laughs> <laughs> you get to be extra funny. You get to look so zany. It makes you quicker. Mm -hmm. Because you... you're constantly shaking. It makes you... Yeah, you're constantly vibrating with motion. Hey, guys, I got a really funny idea for a game parody. What if you implied that Sonic was on drugs? Why would Sonic be on drugs? The clear answer is Mario is on drugs. I've got a good Sonic parody no one's done. Mm -hmm. He's collecting all the rings because he wants to ask Amy Rose to marry him four million times. <laughs> so he can fuck her four million times without going to hell. Or maybe, like, he runs really fast into something, and they go, Whoa, Sonic, if you had slowed down, you probably wouldn't, you wouldn't have ran into that thing. And he goes, Gee, you're right. I guess I'm kind of, like, careless, and I run too fast. But Sonic doesn't do that because he's so cool that he knows what's coming. So that just does that doesn't make it doesn't add up, okay? Um, hmm. what's the ideal Sonic parody? What would you say? Um, what are easy Sonic jokes? Um, his feet smell. A joke about him drowning. Yeah, he drowns. <laughs> uh, don't you're gonna scare Ulilia? Ulilia. <laughs> God damn oh, it! Oh no. Well, you, we get to show off a mechanic. I, I you can rewind. This rack got splatted. Well, you can turn back time. To the good old days. I'm trying to think what else you could even make Sonic jokes out of. Something involving rings. Eggman. Eggman, Eggman is Eggman, a joke. Eggman. He's the Steve Jobs of the Sonic world. <laughs> there you go. There's your parody. Instead of the Apple iPhone, he makes the Eggman eye egg. Guys, easy content for you. <laughs> Google search any presentation Steve Jobs has had, but then just put Eggman over it. Put a mustache on him. <laughs> on Eggman. <laughs> A little, uh, a little curly mustache over his big one. Okay, here's a parody. Mm -hmm. uh, Knuckles, Garden of Emerald. Big Emerald. Uh huh. There uh, he is. He leans back on it and it falls off the mountain and slides down and gets stuck in an exhaust pipe of a car driving by. <laughs> and it uh -huh. powers the car up so hard that it blasts into Sonic, killing him instantly. Now, where's, where's the parody element <laughs> to it? <laughs> 